Hi, I'm Sharon Stone. People ask me why we should have peace, and it's, it's kind of an interesting question if you think about it, because, you know, there have been times when, in the past, when people have felt the, r the real need to have war. But we have to think about, is this logically the time that we're in now? Are we logically in a time when war makes sense to us? You know, certainly, we're in a different era. We're in a different age altogether. We're in a science and technology age. So do we have a practical, elemental need to send a bunch of men, a bunch of tanks, a bunch of guns into an area? Or can we actually resolve this at a higher level of thought? Can we actually talk to each other? We can actually talk to each other over the internet. We can actually talk to each other online. We don't even have to appear in front of each other to see each other and talk. We're in the science and technology age. The eras have changed. So it's an enormous waste of time, energy, manpower, and it's an enormous misplacement of finances to be spending all of this money when we have now the need for the money somewhere else. You know, in, in another time, we, were, we had farmers who were working and feeding the people in other ways, and people were not starving. Well, actually, they were starving, but we didn't really have this global understanding like we do now. And the higher level of thinking and the higher practical um, ability to, to move the funds um, and facilitate feeding people the way that we do, educating people the way that we do, we actually practically have the ability to resolve hunger. We practically have the ability to resolve illness. We practically, and particularly through science and technology, we have the ability to resolve our conflicts without war, without this lumbering, arcane concept of violence which is a really, it's an antiquated idea. When we have this global reality that so far supersedes this idea of just hurting and killing each other as though that ever solved anything anyway, which it doesn't. So I think that we need to catch up with the reality that we're living in. And I know it's, it's sort of hard for people because the ego, this selfish aspect of ourselves, the ego wants to be like, I can have it if I just force people to do what I want. But whenever you force people to do what you want, they hate doing it. They don't want to do it, and nobody's happy, and nothing ever works fluidly anyway, and, it, and then there's this bounce back, and it doesn't actually progress as it was meant to. When people have an integrated um, dialogue and work through their issues, um, they come to a kind of, kind of agreements where everybody wins. And when everybody wins, then progress happens on both sides of the table. So why peace? So that progress can happen for both sides. Because essentially what we're looking for is a forward movement. We're looking for progress for both sides. That's what we pretend when we go to war, when we pretend that we want progress for both sides. But that's not really true. We're, we're looking to clobber people and, and wipe them out and only have progress for the one side. And it doesn't happen. That's not what happens when you go to war. So the idea for war is a lie. The idea of what you think will happen is a lie. And the result is a lie. So the whole thing is, is, is impractical and untrue. Where if you go to a modern look at it, the science and technology, technological look at it, the peaceful resolution construct 
of it. Then you can have truth, truth, truth. And we all know that every time you tell the truth, you're full of energy. You're full of joy and you're full of progress. And so this way, everybody progresses and everybody wins. So from my point of view, why peace? So that everyone's a winner. Uh, the other things that we were going to discuss today were uh, Yala. Why do we start Yala? We started Yala because I feel that when we can go online and when we can show everybody, hey, here's my mom, here's my food, hey, here's my town, here's my dog, here's my life, that we erase borders because everybody's pretty much the same. And the only thing that happens when we have borders is that we create fear by saying, those people are different and be afraid of them. Don't go over there because if you go over there, something bad will happen. Well, if we show everybody, look, if you come over here, it's pretty much the same as you over there, then we take away the fear and we let people know that's really untrue. And so we erase all the false data. So we want to erase the false data. So really, YALA, in many ways, is just about erasing the false data so that you can say that these, these constructs of violent borders are unnecessary and that we can essentially just be friends. We can, we can have friends that live over there. We can have dinner with people who live over there. We can say hi to your mom and you can say hi to my mom. And, and we can get to know each other. And through this friendship, we can collaborate. And again, we can win and you can win and we can move forward. And we can progress. Because in progress, we can end hunger. In progress, we can have medical advancements. In progress, we can have economic success. In progress, we can have educational benefits for our children. In progress, we can have all of the things that give us a sustaining effect in our lives with confidence and clarity, spiritual integrity, personal growth, and well-being. So I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for joining YALA. And I would like to also encourage you to go in our online universities to check out Nelson Mandela University, where you can learn about peace negotiations, where you can become educated in these things that we care about, and have advancement in your own personal education. And through education, you can have a greater sense of well-being for yourself and for your family. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I just got an award today. It's the Nobel Peace Summit Award, and I got it from all of the Nobel Peace Laureates, and I'm pretty darn proud of that. And you know what? This can be in your future, too. Go ahead. Go out there. Be a peace activist. I dare you. <laughs>